Welcome to the Positive Productivity Podcast, episode 341. The Positive Productivity Podcast was created to empower entrepreneurs to achieve and appreciate personal and professional success. I'm your host, Kim Sutton, and if you're ready, let's jump into today's episode. Today, I want you to imagine that you were invited to a second grade class maybe even first grade, to explain what you do in your business. Would you be able to explain what you do to first graders in a way that they could understand? In the past several weeks, I've had conversations with quite a few extremely brilliant entrepreneurs who did not quite understand what I did, and I realized that I needed to explain it in a different way. Now, if you're not familiar with what I do when I'm not hosting the Positive Productivity Podcast, the majority of my time is spent building marketing funnels for six, seven, and eight-figure business coaches. I assist them with their product launches, with their engagement series, with their indoctrination series, which means after somebody initially opts in or signs up for a free offer, This is the whole series that happens after that. It could be emails, it could be upsells to a low ticket offer, but there are so many different directions that this could go in. And there are unfortunately so many entrepreneurs who don't realize that this is what a marketing funnel is. What I've also realized in conversations with guests on the podcast and by attending various events is that often we talk to other people in our network as if they already know what we do. And many times the explanation can go right over the head of the person that we are speaking with. So we need to take it down a level. And this is not to insult the person that we are speaking with. But just think about a time when you went to a doctor and they started using their doctor language you know, all those big words that we don't necessarily understand. And you had to ask them to stop and ask them, what does that mean? So today I want to talk to you like you're a first grader and not because I don't respect you at all. I know you are a brilliant person, but I want to know if you have your marketing funnel set up. If you don't, the first thing that I want you to do is look at your end goal. What is the highest level offering, usually the biggest ticket price offering that you eventually want people to get to? Now, out of every hundred people that comes in at the freebie level, maybe one will get to the end. But what is that highest level ticket offering that you want to sell to your audience? Now, how are you going to get them there? Lately, a lot of my work has been with Steve Volsher on his Profiting from Podcasts launch. And one of the items that he talks about in this program is building your $1,000 funnel. Now, I'm not going to give away all of Steve's tricks and tips, but being part of the podcast community, so often I have guests on the podcast, and you can go back and listen to any guest episodes just to see how correct I am on this, but so often people including me, will go onto a podcast and not provide the listeners with a free gift. For example, I could go onto a podcast today and offer anybody who was listening a free copy of the seven-day version of the Positive Productivity Planner. They would just need to go to a specific website, enter in their name and email, and it would be delivered to them. Now, after they opt in, or sign up if you're not familiar with what opt-in means, they would be entered into an email sequence depending on the information that they provided when they signed up for the free version of the planner. What happens as well though, is that when they sign up to get the free version, they're also offered the option to purchase a 30-day version of the planner which has additional benefits. Now, you may wonder why I don't just give the 30-day version away for free, and I'll tell you why. The seven-day version doesn't have all the perks and benefits that the 30-day version does, and if you put three 30-day versions together, this is what will be sold in the 90-day or quarterly planner 
when it is finally in print. So I don't want to give that away for free. Somebody could take that to their local Kinko's and print out multiple versions. It would honestly cost them more money than just buying the print copy will from me when it's ready. But I don't want it to be out there floating all around and be handed out for free when I intend to sell it someday. So that's why the 30 day version is a paid upsell. Later on in the email sequence, and I mean two weeks in after people have a chance to get to know me and hear my story and know what I do in my business, there are offers for a discovery call or for my paid programs, but it takes time to get to that point. Some people do that straight out of the gate. I don't like that. Personally, I want people to have a chance to get to know me before they get there. And then after they get there and they sign up, then they are offered the upsell to my highest level programs. So when I'm talking to you and to guests and to other listeners about marketing funnels in the future, this is what I want you to be thinking about. What is the initial offer that you pose to people who you are speaking with, to the listeners of podcasts that you are on? to the readers of blogs that you may guest submit articles for? What is that free offer that's bringing them into your sales funnel and is providing value to the listener or reader or what have you? How are you going to bring people into your front door and drive them along the journey towards hiring you for your higher level services? I hope this broke down what a marketing funnel is for you and more of a basic level, just in case you were confused to start. But what I really want you to think about now is how you can explain what you do on a more basic level so that you can bring people into your front door. Now, this is a sad pitch, but if you have any questions about your marketing funnel, if you would like to enlist my support in getting yours built, you are welcome at any time to visit my website at thekimsutton.com and send me a message on the Ask Kim page. Now, with all this said, Go forth and make it a positive and productive day. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Positive Productivity Podcast. When I'm not podcasting, I'm supporting six to seven figure business coaches with their marketing automation and entrepreneurs like you through my coaching and mastermind programs. I want to invite you to visit thekimsutton.com to learn how I can help you take your business to the next level.